my name is Ron Harris. I'm a professor at BYU. I am a structural geologist, and my specialty is in earthquake dynamics and fault zones, especially active fault zones. I do most of my research in places where there's a lot more earthquakes than in Utah, but I see the same problems exist here that exist in other places where you have an active fault with a high concentration of people and a built environment that's not up to code. Yeah, look how close it is. Here's the Wasatch Fault, these dark lines. Mm -hmm. The strand of the Wasatch Fault, which, which we see right here, we don't know how far it goes. We did a survey through here and we found 13 more sections of the Wasatch Fault that went all the way down to 900 East. The reason why this school is having a hard time is because it's actually in the Wasatch Fault Zone. I mean, it was constructed at a time when we really didn't understand earthquake engineering. It's not up to seismic code. That's the problem. Mm -hmm. So when there's an earthquake, even if the earthquake's in Salt Lake, because of the sediment, because of the way it's constructed, and also because of how close it is to the fault zone, this is going to be impacted in a huge way. I just got back from an island in Indonesia called Lombok where they had an earthquake magnitude 7 and a magnitude 6.9, which is about half or a third of what we're expecting here, right? Destroyed 1,250 schools where the roof essentially just collapsed right down onto the, onto the desks. Fortunately, it happened at 6 p.m. when no kids were there, but if it would have happened during the school day, mm -hmm. thousands of kids would have been smashed. We just can't have that happen here. We're not a third world country. We have no excuse for not correcting the problems that we've identified. And there's a strand of the fault right there, and here is Timpu High School, right there. Mm -hmm. It's only a quarter mile from the fault, so one lap around that track right there is the distance. You can actually see it in, in the background. You can see those houses way up there on the bench, yeah. and then these houses really close. The fault goes right between those two. So Timpview is built right on that zone. Essentially, Timpview High School is on the Wasatch Fault. And that's why it's not surprising that you are seeing um, deformities in the school. It's just like when the earthquake starts to shake, mm -hmm. all preparation is over. There's nothing you can do if you've, if you've been procrastinating or if you have taken the warning lightly and put it off. I mean, if there's any place on the planet that should be on top of preparedness, it's this community right now. It just dumbfounds me that we have a hard time persuading people to be prepared. <laughs>